The drill I'd like to talk to you now about is a quick hands and counter drill. This is used with our speed release and it teaches the receivers to explode off the ball but also identify the hands of the defender to get them down quickly. As stated earlier, the number one thing that a receiver can use versus press coverage is his speed release. He has to be able to attack the defender with speed, get his hips open, and create a, a vertical line. The one thing we will teach our receivers is to work an aiming point, not the middle of the man, so we'll try to aim one yard outside or one yard inside the defender's shoulders to create leverage as we run off the ball. When doing the, spot, the speed counter drill, what we'll do is have a DB step in front of the receiver and we'll have him step opposite the direction the receiver will go. The receiver will take one step to the direction opposite where he wants to go to set the defender's foot and then he'll bump back outside to create a vertical line. On the hand quickness drill, what we'll have, you can set one receiver in front of the line, have another receiver in front of the receiver and have him shooting his arms and what we're trying to do here is teach the receiver to see the, the hands of the DB and quickly and aggressively get them down. So as you can see here, we'll shoot our arms in front of the receiver. The receiver will quickly punch the arms down to get them down. Here's a great example of an isolation for the receiver. Just like a boxer, once the receiver sees the, the hands of the DB, he'll aggressively work to attack his hands, get them down, and re recreate a vertical line. Here's a great example of the highlighter receiver down here at the bottom using the quick hands technique. Initially, the DB will get a quick jam on the receiver but the receiver is able to get his hands down quickly, establish a vertical line, and execute the play. So as you can see, at the snap of the ball, the receiver, the DB anticipates the receiver's move. He is able to get his hands on the, D, on the receiver. The receiver does a great job of quickly getting his hands down, establishing a vertical line, and saving space for the quarterback to make the throw. Down here is an example of the counter move. The receiver will take one step to set the defender's feet and then bump back outside with the vertical line. So as you can see, as the receiver comes off the ball, he steps one step inside, the defender bites on the step, now he's able to create space on the outside to make the catch. Here's a great example of quick hands in practice. The receiver uses quickness and speed at the line of scrimmage. He causes the DB to, to reach with his inside arm, and you can see how quickly the, the receiver is able to get his hands down and get into his route. Remember, the biggest thing versus press coverage is using speed. Here's an example of a counter step. The receiver here is rolled up. He'll anticipate the receiver's move by jumping aggressively outside. The receiver is able to set his feet and counter the defender's overplay of the route and able to get back into the route, creating separation and able to run through the catch. So by using the quick hands and the counter drill, you teach the receivers, one, to run off the ball, two, to identify the hands as quickly as possible of the defender, and three, if the defender overplays in one direction, you can invite him to, to create separation, which will allow you to create separation in your passing game. The drill I'd like to talk to you about now is a chop and the rip release. The number one thing we talk about on press release is to get going. We don't want to spend too much time at the line of scrimmage because it leads to poor timing and sacks between the quarterback and the receiver. The main thing the receiver cannot be afraid of is contact. He must be physical at the line of scrimmage to defeat the defender. The first release we'll talk about is a chop. On the chop, we want to be quick and aggressive at the snap of the ball. It's important that we locate and control the punch arm and clear the recover arm. The second release we'll talk about is a rip. On this, we want to move the DB opposite of where we want to go, and then we want to club up or rip up with the outside arm to clear the DB. This is best used versus a cover two corner or a physical wide receiver. The, the drill that we used on both of these uh, types of releases is what we call the chop and rip release drill. What you'll need for this drill is a heavy bag that will go left and right from the receiver. The receiver will buzz his feet and execute his hand placement on the bag. An example of this, so you have the, the bag in front of the receiver and the receivers are going from left to right working on their hand placement and being physical at the top of the route. Once again, the receivers will use quick feet striking the hand. You can see the receiver at the top is executing a rip. The receiver down here at the bottom also executes a rip. Here's a great game example of what we're trying to get done here. The highlighted receiver down here at the bottom will attack the defender, chop his hands down, and then stack them to get the high ball. 
So you can see there, the receiver comes off the ball, he attacks the defender, he chops his arms down to physical, now he reestablishes the vertical line and he's able to go up at his highest point and make a great catch. Remember, it's very important that the receivers understand that they must be physical at the line of scrimmage. So as a quarterback goes through the mechanics, you can see the receiver will stack them at the top and go up and catch the ball at its highest point. Another example of the rip occurs down here with the highlighted receiver. As a corner comes down, the receiver must know that he has to be physical at the line of scrimmage. The receiver comes in, he stacks the, the DB, moves his feet, go opposite where he wants to go, and then he rips up. Now once you go inside, he must fight back to regain his vertical width. As he does this, he's able to make the DB play through him, and he's able to catch a ball that the quarterback puts in a great spot. Once again, it's important that the receiver knows that once he gets vertical off the press release, he must regain his outside leverage to make the defender play through him.